Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is my automation testing world which mirrors my actual game world so I can play with this one without breaking stuff um, but thank you to uh, the uh, Ripper's World Sync all my settings are exactly the same. What are we doing in this video? We're looking at Chris's pre-mades because it is out of beta and it, it is out there in the world um, but you might have trouble finding it. <laughs> so uh, Chris's pre-mades, lovingly just referred to as CPR, uh, has had a name change. So they've kept the CPR and it's now called the Cauldron of Plentiful Resources. Okay, so if you're looking to install this, that's what you need to search for. Just search for Cauldron, you'll find it really, really easy. Now, if you are somebody who's been using the beta version and you've got in that, you've got that in there, if you update, you should find that that will automatically, uh, it will warn you and tell you it's shifting branches uh, and make sure you're okay to continue with that. And then it will switch you over to the latest branch, uh, which will change the name of your mod to the Cauldron of Plentiful Resources. Um, that's what we want. So hurrah. Now, not that doesn't mean everything is working 100%. Okay, it's out of beta. A lot of things are. So before we look at that, let's have a look at the GitHub because this is quite important. Um, so this is, you can just click on the link for your mod and it will take you to the GitHub here. You can see it's still called Chris's Pre-Mades up here, um, but this has now moved over. There is the README here with a link to the Discord, of course, um, and it's got the list of authors. Now, a big reason for the name change is it's it originally started, Chris started with writing some scripts and things like that, and it just grew into this monster that we all came to know and love um, called CPR, Chris's Pre-Mades, but um, they, they've taken the decision that it's probably not fair to call it Chris's Pre-Mades because Autumn does an awful lot of the dev work um, on CPR um, and Michael does an awful lot as well uh, mostly with testing and support and everything else so Chris and Autumn the main devs with Michael giving the main support there so calling it Chris's is robbing the others of their limelight which is you know credit where credit's due absolutely so that's why they wanted to keep CPR but it's now changed that module name if you in case you're wondering why um, now modules required there's not a huge change here, but there is a little bit of a change. So just to bear in mind, that is right here. It's worth checking. If you can't get Chris's to work, I can almost guarantee it's because your sequencer needs updating. So D&D system 3.3.1. We know that that's where we're locking for automations. Okay, so don't be going running off to the 4.0 D&D system and then wondering why it's not working. It a couple of bits might work randomly, but it really isn't designed for that. And it's likely to fall over big time. In fact, it probably won't even install. Um, MIDI QOL 11.6.19.1. It's just had a tiny little update. Uh, Posny accidentally fixed something and broke something else and then fixed it again, hence the little one on the end. Um, but that's all good now. Build a bonus 12.1.4. Make sure you've got the correct version for this and lock it so we don't accidentally update stuff. Uh, Dynamic Act Effects 11.3.64. We've been on that one for a little while. That's great. Fine. Lock that in. Uh, Jules and Ben's Animated Assets. Now, if you don't already have this, if you search and try to install it, if you search for Jules, you'll find that it will come up. Um, depending on whether you've got the free version, the Patreon version, the actual name that installs might not be exactly the same as that, but you want the um, uh, 0.6 Point zero. Now I'm on the Patreon version and it's put me on 0 0.7, but fine. Um, sequencer, this is the one that has very recently been updated. It's had some core changes to it, um, which is great. And CPR is relying on some of those core changes because it's just streamlining stuff. 3.3.2, uh, so you will need to update your sequencer. 3.3.2 um, and then lock it. Uh, socket lib, yep, we always needed that. 1.1 for that, just make sure you're on it. And time's up again as part of our automation. There hasn't been any significant changes to that. Should be on 11.3.19. Uh, now, there is, of course, the list of additional modules, gambits. Yep, I use gambits. 
uh, MIDI item showcase community, the MISC, um, which gives us lots of extra items and stuff. So what Chris's pre-made, well, I've got to stop calling it that, haven't I? <laughs> what CPR will do, as you know, hopefully you know, because you've seen some videos on it before, is we can pull in using that med kit and we can pull in the CPR effects or the Gambit effects, or it will pull in from the MIDI item showcase community, the MISC as well. So uh, it's useful to have both Gambits and the MISC as well. Uh, Universal Animations, it can use that. Animated Spell Effect Cartoon, um, it's optional, you don't need it. Visual Active Effects, the D&D Beyond Importer, the DDBI that we've looked at before. Tidy 5 e sheet. I don't use that, you don't need to, but for some people they prefer the look of it. And Token Magic Effects. Now it talks about the main features of this. Compendiums of automated spells, items, class features and more. We know about that, we've seen it, but it has been significantly expanded since we last did a video on it. We've got our title bar that provides us um, with that interface to apply and configure included automations, that med kit or first aid kit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, fancy animations. Okay, so we've got these fancy animations that are part of this now. Uh, so it does include those JB2A um, and animated spell effects cartoon. Okay, so if you want to get all the glorious animations, yeah, yeah, stick on these extra, stick on these extra bits that you want. Um, you don't have to. Um, I don't think I need to. Thank you very much. I think JB2A is giving me everything I need. Custom role resolver for manual roles. Uh, custom API extending from the MIDI QOLs workflow that allows for precise event timing and automation. What does that mean? Probably nothing we as users really need to understand. Public API for running custom macros. Well, we're not that advanced, most of us here, are we? So, um, you know, it's there, it's there and it will be very useful for people. Various optional quality of life user interface extensions. We've already seen that with like the conditions and things. Uh, effect changes, uh, including automatic description, state of effect, icon changes, etc. Application of relevant MIDI flags. Uh, custom effect interface to store and apply custom effects. Uh-huh. Custom effects. Very nice. Uh, and optional homebrew mechanics, including the DMG cleave, exploding heels, and the BG3 weapon actions um, for those who want them. And automatic uh, character backups. So it's well worth looking at those GitHub um, records because they do tell us an awful lot. So what is this actually doing for us? Well, let's have a look at, we're not going to spend hours on this because <laughs> we could spend hours on this. Um, I've now got this cauldron of plentiful resources, of course, uh, and I can look at third party items, consumables. We've got some potions in there. Uh, we've got uh, we've got weapons in there as well, so some custom items. Uh, we've got some monster features in here um, as well, which is great. Now, what's interesting is I've also got the Chris's pre-made one showing up in here as well. Um, but we've got all of these CPR bits, class features for the barbarian. Just picking on barbarian, uh, danger sense and stuff. Now we've seen a lot of these previously, um, but it has extended quite dramatically um, you know eyes of night is one that we looked at and we got working but actually look how many there are in here now uh, just picking on fighter battle master all the maneuvers I mean these guys in the background quietly because they are quite quiet we don't hear a lot from them they just drop this stuff um, so there's tons and tons of stuff Tons of stuff that they've done. Uh, too much for them to list in their own wiki, really. Um, but as always, what we can do is we can just go into our characters. We can whack our medikit. And it's going to tell us that we've already got four. Um, and there's now um, seven, uh, sorry, a total of eight more. And we can click that update. Now, this, as you will see. Oh, interesting. Why has it done sleep three times? This is pulling up from my automated items so I went through and tested a whole bunch of items a little while ago to make sure which ones were working we fixed a couple ourselves and we dumped them all into there what I would suggest you do and I'm going to be brave and I'm going to do it right now um, is I would suggest if you are one of the people who downloaded that is um, is ditch it yeah 
get rid of it okay because there's a good chance any of the ones that i said work okay they're going to work directly from cpr um, and any of the ones that i tweaked i tweaked because they weren't ready with cpr but probably are now so i would suggest ditching all of those ones that i gave you if you chose to download those um, and start again with the cpr ones because that, they're going to be the better option you know, so this one says, yeah, additional compendiums. Mine is defaulting to pull in my version of it. But maybe my Firebolt isn't, you know, isn't the best version of it. But we can do this with all of our characters. Just go through. We've got one up to date from CPR. Um, and it says two available. So Unarmed Strike has now been updated as well. Great. Uh, we can just go through all this. Sorry, man, what have you got to update? So we already had three. Two are now out of date. Okay, so that's important to note. Uh, and we can just update them again. So fast movement, unarmed strike has been updated again. Uh, the catapult spell, one I did. Reckless attack, gambits, reckless attack, gambits, shocking grasp. We're pulling those in. Danger sense, we're pulling those in. So it's well worth doing this again. Now I've got a game tonight. Doing this right now without testing them is probably dangerous. <laughs> because <laughs> i've got literally got a game in a, in a couple of hours time and, and um i don't want to be breaking stuff before that that's why i'm doing this in my testing world okay so i've not updated in my live world because i know that's stable and i know which things aren't working quite yet uh, and i know how to just work around them so I, i'm not going to give myself the panic attack of last minute updates we've got loads on Haley, and a lot of that's around spells and things like that because i went through and i did things like i updated the mending spell or the prayer of healing and things like that just to make sure they all worked but now i've got protection from good and evil that wasn't on cpr before it is now unarmed strike again included because every character should have access to that um this is a wizard don't know where i'm going yeah, 25 up to date it reckons from CPR, but it reckons there's more. Ooh, error with crown of madness, skipping item. So that's the kind of thing. I came up with a little bug there. Obviously something not quite right with that, but it gave me a little warning and then just carried on anyway. But look, cloud of daggers, gambits, um, fireball, gambits, hideous laughter, gambits. So with the update to GPS as well as CPS, this is now pulling in lots and lots of new things, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm not going to go through every single character, but what I do need to mention, monsters. Monsters also have their CPR box, but this is not working yet. Okay, so they want to get it released. They want to get people using it. They focused on the class abilities, skills and spells. They haven't got this working for monsters at this time. However... There's plenty of the monster's abilities, not this one, of course I picked one. There's plenty of the monster's abilities that have been done um, and you can pull those straight out of. So we've got CPR summons, obviously the items. Um, tons of stuff. There's a reason why I have a folder that says others. So I can dump a lot of these that I'm not looking at every day and dumping them in my other folder just to try and clear this out. It doesn't help that I've you know, got my own stuff. We've got all these CPR actions as well. Search, ready spell, hide, help, dodge, disengage. They're all there as well that you might want to drop onto your characters and or your monsters. We've got all of those. Class features we already looked at. Items um, we, we did. This is a different um, set of items on here so there's a whole bunch of bits that we might like on there as well we've got the summons so you know bigby's hand uh, draconic spirit and things they're all in there so there is an absolute ton of stuff so between gambit stuff and cpr we've got a whole raft of things covered it's just fantastic the amount of the amount of automation stuff that those guys have done with regard to the items you've got midi that's doing all of the mechanics in the background and then you've got cpr and gambits that are doing well gambits is doing a bunch of the mechanics as well as items cpr is doing loads of items for all of those 
um, you know, actual items and class features and spells and stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm going to stop ranting on. I just wanted to make sure that you know that CPR has dropped, uh, but it has got a name change. So now you can go knock yourselves out, have a play, but always, like, try to be sensible about it. If you're about to run a game like I am tonight, don't go and charge in and update that live world and give yourself a nightmare. Um, <laughs> set it up in a testing world. Find out what works, what you want to use, what you don't want to use, because some things might not work the way you want to. Um, or wait until you've got a gap between games, then update it all, and then just, just check there's no major problems. Um, I tend to do that. My party's quite low level. Um, they're actually just just about to hit second level so they haven't got that many spells they haven't got that many abilities so I can quickly wh whiz through and check them just don't have time to do it before the game tonight especially if I encounter a problem anyway I'm going to shut up take care thank you for watching really appreciate it uh, and once again thank you to all our members um, really really do appreciate you guys for all of your support and your testing because you're doing quite a lot of testing in the background some of you for me at the moment really appreciate it take care everyone and i will see you in the next video